proud to showcase the finest young golfers from around the globe. From just west of Calgary at Banff Springs, it's live first round coverage of the Canadian Championship. What might we have in store for us over the course of these next four days? We've got big names, we've got dark horses, we've got it all as we look at the leaderboard on this Thursday. A lot of folks fighting for the title, including our leader. That's a good shot, and more importantly too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Nota Begay is on the ground for us at the first green. And an ideal look here, just moving slightly to the left. Well done, that is in for a par here at the first and he'll stay at even par. This one's looking good. That one safely on the putting surface. The pace, absolutely perfect there. Down the slope, it's in for a birdie. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is gonna wind up squarely in the fairway. All right, Frank, what's the right play here on this second shot to the par five third? Well, even though that uh, hole is a dog leg to the right, uh, the best way to bring it in actually is to use the general contours, which is right to left, and the shape of the shot in that direction as well. So it might look like a little cut, but it actually suits a little draw. I like it. I like it a lot. He's going to love it if he can get out of here with the three, and that's a possibility. So now this, just outside of 20 feet for Eagle. Oh, yeah. That's how you take advantage of a par five. It's in for an Eagle three. Superb. Oh, that is just about perfect right there. Very well done. After the great tee shot, this for birdie. Yeah, that's a well-played hole. It's a birdie here at four. And he'll get it now to four under par. Just two shots off the lead.
as that ball bounces into the rough. First fairway missed today. Second shot coming up, and we say hello to Iona Steven. He's in a good spot, 126 yards left to the flag. And the ball sitting very nicely in the rough. This could be a good one. No, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, oh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Seven feet now for birdie. Yes, a good read. It's a birdie here at five. And he'll move to within a shot of the lead at five under par. One of the best swings of the day. Just unlucky, really. That last bounce kicked it into the first cut. Now this is second to the par four from just off the fairway. He's been automatic on this front side. This for birdie. Had been automatic, but not that time. Just five feet left. Nicely read there. It is a par here at the sixth. And he'll stay at five under. No issues here. That is into the fairway. What a good shot that is. Home and two on the par five. Remember, made eagle earlier in the round, Frank. Now maybe a chance for a second. I know we can't call it a double eagle, but um, talk about aggression in these par fives. Way to stand up there and just hit the shot. Oh, man, the putter is working now. That is back-to-back -back eagles, a rarity in the world of golf. Good chance at one. We have real chance here to get on a run. The eagle on the previous hole and now stuffs it inside of 10 feet. Look out. Chance now for another birdie.
Okay, good roll there. It is a par here at the eighth, and this will remain a one-shot advantage. so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. Oh, this par five green is well protected. That's two good shots, but that bunker's there for a reason. Now, with some nifty sand play, we're looking at four. All right, not exactly what you're hoping for, but safely on the putting surface with birdie still in play. Didn't trust the read there, and that's going to cost him. Okay, a shake of the head as that one is finished off. And he's going to fall to six under par. Boy, this is just way too much club for a front hole location. That was completely overcooked. Right about nine feet here to the hole. Safely in. It's a par here at the 10. And he'll remain at six under par. Boy, a good round going here on this Thursday, and that another fine effort off the tee. That pin in the front right quadrant of the green today as he stares down his second. club more there as it is needs to get up and down to save par So that brushed in for par here at 11, and he'll stay right where he is. Yeah. 
No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. From the fairway, Noda, this is second. He's looking at 136 yards to the front of the green, 143 to the hole, pinned just on the front edge. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Oh no, I think he was about ready to walk that in. That looked on target the whole way. That one safely in. And it's a par here at 12. And he'll remain right where he is. He might have been trying to land that over the flag and spin it back, but that just carried much too far. This is a nine footer. got a little bit more movement than you think and that'll slide on by. Okay, that one finished off. It is a bogey here at unlucky number 13. And he'll fall back to five under. Good drive down the right side. And if you look up ahead, that flag is cut middle left. So this is a very good angle into this hole. Stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So birdie chance. Now this for another birdie. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And he'll stay right where he is. Oh, the rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. Frank, I'm always fascinated by the way professionals approach the game and how different it is from us amateurs. You're not just standing up and hitting a shot, hoping to catch it on the middle of the face. You're thinking about lower high, left to right or right to left. Yeah, there's two schools of thought, really. You're either, either moving the shot away from something or towards something. So this is a great example here. You could be moving the ball away from the left side of the green, but closer towards the flag. Well, that one didn't work out. It didn't look bad in the air. It hit the green, but didn't sit. Yeah, it was never going to stop.
Well, obviously that's not his best, but it'll be quickly forgotten, Frank, if he's able to get out of here with his par. Well, you might forget it. I won't. <laughs> Far from his best. Yeah, good putt. That's in for par here at 15. And he'll remain right where he is. That will do just fine. A nice round number here at even 100 yards coming up for his second. Well, this is straight at it. It's a really good line. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, oh, what, six, seven feet in there? But that is an excellent approach shot. Chance now for another birdie. down for a birdie here at 16. Boy, this could be a tough one right here, Frank. It's a very long putt, Rich. Obviously, it's difficult, uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for birdie. Pretty good read there. Definitely good speed, and it just skips a foot or so by. No problems there. That's a par here at 17. And he'll stay right where he is. And that one not quite able to hang on. It's into the bunker. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Now this for another birdie. Yeah, it's a birdie at the last. And this is gonna be an opening round 64 sensational.
So day one in the books, and what a day it was for our featured golfer, leading by a stroke here on this Thursday. I remember the great hail 